Let's do, baby. All right. We got another fabulous show from what we're I'm hearing. And we appreciate all the feedback I'm that we're getting back from everybody. Um, the with the feedback is the show is getting better and better. And that's really, really, really what we're aiming for. We're aiming to entertain you, keep you tuned into us. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in to dbnebmusic.com. You're watching Miss Gabby. That would be moi, live. Um, 6 o'clock start time, but you know what we do around here. We try to fine tune as much as possible for you. As I said, we have another great show for you. Another, now I can't even say on the rise, because she might be a little, the name is new to me, maybe new to you, but she's not new to the game. By way of Bedside Brooklyn. Brooklyn has been pushing them out. Brooklyn in the house. I'm a Bronx girl, but I will say Brooklyn stand up because you guys are pushing them out. Okay, the talent that's coming out of Brooklyn is, is, is phenomenal. And we're going to introduce another Brooklyn night. Beth Stuyvesant, lady, a lady, a true lady, a vocal talent that has graced background vocals for Shaka Khan, Whitney Houston. Luther, I mean the list goes on. She's background vocal for some of the best, you know, some icons, some legends. And, and so many times I say it, um, you know, all the people the in the bed. forefront get all the glory, um, but sometimes those voices bed. in the back that make the big all difference. The so without further ado, I want to bring to you the rest of this world who may not know um, and the ones who do know. Tune in with us. We're going to stay here. Miss Karen Benoit. Come on up, lady. Yeah, I got to stand up for a sister today. Hey, how are you? First off, I ain't too impressed with the way you wear your heels and go snapping your neck. Keep that. Matter of fact, I bought the chirp, so get the chirping back. You was talking shit until I showed you where the cash at. Now you hush, hush, always in the rush. We got ladies up in the house. Big Nile on the, on the camera lady side, because we bosses up in here, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we try to make voice moves around here. So, Miss Benoit, hey, hey, uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. This is our first meeting, hey. but um, in the last week, and I've been listening to some of the stuff, doing my homework, as everybody knows, I do my homework, and I'm not a house music fanatic because, as mm -hmm. I explained to you, I came in that era of too young to party with the house music scene and then I was when I was old enough it was kind of passing my way and I yeah. wasn't allowed out anyway uh -huh. but like I'm gonna listen to house music what okay. I do listen to DJ Mustafa over there he plays I listen to it but yeah, I'm, I'm good yeah stuff, <laughs> you got me convinced <laughs> that's good you huh? got me convinced <laughs> and <laughs> we're gonna see if we can entice her to um, sing some live because that's what we do around here too when she was over there Coming out some riffs and stuff, so I know she's ready to go. Well, ready yeah. to go. Say hello, because everybody watches the Miss Gabby hi Show. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm, I'm not shy at all. I'm just like, you know, feeling the vibe and everything. How you doing? Glad to be here. <laughs> glad Thanks for having here. me. Thank you. Beautiful day here you. in New York. We had like 88 degree weather. So yes. Very nice. Yes. I'm sniffling wild. from it a little bit. But, yeah, um, there are allergies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's jump into this, because I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. You, your music has got me excited. Your whole spirit has got me excited. Thank you. So, um, you make me blush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do sometimes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was telling the people, you know, you've done some background stuff with some, some of the greats yes. that they all know. My blessings. Yeah, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. I mean, really, some of the best. And um, how so many times that people don't give the props to the people standing in the back. Mm -hmm, you know, the mm -hmm. ones like, except for Michael Jackson, who says, look at, you know, look at, look at my background singer, look at my guitarist. And mm -hmm. a lot of times, those are the people that carry the song. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know? it's definitely accompaniment. Yeah. Everyone that's there is accompanying the uh, artist. Right, you know? right. So it's a collective, you know, and it has to be. I mean, that's what works. Right, right. You know? I mean, your overall experience, I'm going to go back, but I just had a quick question in, in mind. Your whole experience, once you decided to jump from as a background vocalist and you were ready to jump to the forefront, was were they very accepting of that? Were they said, you know, did they push you like, yeah, go ahead, you you've well, been great. Actually, I've always um, my goal was always as a solo a solo artist. Okay. I tried the nine to five thing; it didn't work for me, so I preferred to you know work for myself. Okay. And um, I prayed to God. I said, God. If you let me do what I love to do and make a living at it, I promise I won't be late anymore. Okay. Because I was late to my nine to fives right. all the time, right? <laughs> so, um, but, 
you know, as things carried on, I, uh, I was in high school, and then I left high school, went to college. Right. I was singing then. So I've been all, always doing my solo thing. Okay. So, like, um, the background stuff kind of took place of the 9 to 5 for me. Okay. And it's great exposure, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to be behind a lot of great artists, right. you know. Right. And, um, you know, so it, it, it's a blessing. It's, right. it, it's a definite blessing. So were you, is this like a natural talent for you that you just discovered, or were you professionally trained you nope. had a vocal coach god given god beautiful given. Mm -hmm. those are beautiful yeah well, thank you and i'm with we're, we're thanking god that you you you're doing something with the gift he gave you yeah because so many don't use they, it yeah. you know they don't use it or they yeah. don't know that they have it mm -hmm. and it's not anything that the rest of us get to experience so thank you thank you thank, thank you, you. <laughs> <laughs> they um I was like Shucks. like i said yeah right <laughs> um this is, so hard. this is what i found interesting before we get into your, I guess, professional career. You said you're nine to five. Yeah. Was that the jingles? Because honestly, I was like, well, she used to write jingles. Oh, no, not, I, I've, I haven't written, but I've sung. Oh, you know, sang the jingles? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Not yet, I should say. I haven't written a jingle yet. Yes. Well, you but know. I'm working on it. Well, because it becomes very lucrative. It does it. I, I, I was like going to say we're going past the jingles, but I guess if it's lucrative, she's doing jingles. <laughs> That's bad. Well, lately it's been kind of slow because of the recession. Right, right. But you know, things are starting to pick back up a little bit. But yeah, yeah, I was fortunate. I'm not a jingle diva. Now I have friends. Right. That's all they do for a living is jingles. And it's lucrative. Oh my God, yes. Because every time you thought. see it shown on major markets like DC, mm -hmm. California, New York, right. Chicago, like the big markets. It's a check. If it ching ching girl. I, you know what? I would, I'm learning something. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought. Mm -hmm. I never thought. Radio I too. Did. Radio, cable, right. now digital. Girl, I need to start singing, learn to sing a couple of bars just to sing jingles, if nothing else. You don't even have to sing. You could be like, ah, or, or, mmm, that's something too. You're going to get paid. I'm very Church. expressive. I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Better. I know, right? I miss, oh, God, I almost missed my call. I'm so <laughs> glad you came today. <laughs> so glad you came today. Okay, so you sang the jingles. Yeah. And I guess... Probably the one that stuck out the most to me that most people would probably know is the Budweiser one with Tone Low. I still oh, love yeah, Tone Low. Yeah, yeah, that was a f that was my first. That was the first. My nice. very first, thanks to Bernie Drayton. Okay, that was my first jingle. Is he still around, or is he, this is a rest in oh, peace he, moment? Oh no, no, he's still know. here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In fact, I still we work like with thanking him. people around here because yeah. nobody gets can't to the top on yourself. their own. Yeah, Absolutely, exactly. you can't do it alone. So we're thanking you too, Bernie Drayton. Mr. Bernie Drayton. Mr. Bur yes, Mr. My Bernie Drayton. My mentor and father-like figure, kind of beautiful. Great we time. like those. Mm -hmm. We like those. All right. So from the jingles, like I said, you did some um, some traveling. Let me go to my notes here because I was I'm I'm floored. Let's see. I had started writing jingles. You didn't write the jingle. You sang them. Just no, nope, not yet. That's to me. It's not coming. yet. That's it's coming. That's an avenue. It sure is. It sure is. That's an avenue with mm -hmm. the major work being lucrative. Yeah, and it can be very lucrative. I need to go home. I'm going home after this. Okay. I might, I might <laughs> tell Mustafa, excuse me, get some, some little instrumentals going. Let me <laughs> something. Or something we get do. your reel together. You know, looking online, you can look through things that, like agencies and stuff. Right. Send it out and you know, give it, give it a shot. This is your moment. We're not going to talk about me. We'll talk about okay. that after the show because <laughs> we're definitely going to do something now. Um, I guess my original question, which I'm still unsure about you did you chopped on it are the bigger artists when you come from behind them to push forward and you tell them listen I'm, I'm trying to do my own thing I'm trying to be the solo career because that's what your aim was how do they receive that are they hopeful or well actually each artist that I've gotten with was familiar with my solo efforts okay so it wasn't like a you know it wasn't like a big transition or surprise or anything right. you know I'm, I'm an independent artist you okay. know and you know, that's a, like a little, uh, a movement in its own, you know, okay. the, the um, underground artists that right. are neo-soul, that are, you know, um, right. independent. But, um, yeah, they, they pretty much knew, you know, for my little CDs and stuff. And nice. Yeah, so it wasn't like a big thing. Yeah, oh, that's good because, you know, you know I expect it to be the, no, this is, I'm having my moment. No, you, know, well, you, you just know, stay in you, the background you work and do it out you where do. you can. Well, I, I had to work it out where I could do. My, my main, my bread and butter it right. was singing background. Okay. So I have to work my solo situation around that. Right. You know, so in between times when I wasn't singing with them, I, 
in the studio. Like I'm in the studio now, working on my new stuff, and right. you know I'm singing background with Freddie Jackson. So since that's my, my you know, that's my main thing, I right. work my solo thing around it. You know. Okay. That's yeah. nice. Gotta gotta you know maneuver and stuff. That means you stay busy. Thank God. Thank God. It's starting to pick back up, but. Last year, right. oh my God, it came almost to like a crawl. You really? Know? You had a recession. You had, You're you know, right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe that was God's way of saying you need to rest. Because you traveled yeah, and with you the best what? of them. You, You're right. Because I said the same thing. It's probably a, a blessing in disguise. Right. Because I will, I've been on the road like constantly for like, except the last four or five years, for like the last 10, 15 years, you right. know, working. You know, on and off. But right. still constantly, you know, so... Yeah, it was a, a chance to smell the roses, you know. Nice. So, with your travels, what has probably been the most memorable place to visit? Do you well actually when you when you're working, do you get downtime to visit? Yeah, yeah. When we're out there for a while across the seas and other continents and stuff, you do get some downtime. Okay. And, but um, I would have to say Australia was a really nice uh, trip because it's like a 24-hour flight. <laughs> Okay. To and fro. Well, actually, coming back, it was like about 18 hours because of the tailwind. It's a but long flight. Child. But, you know, you got to take a book and right. have a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah, that, you know, was, that was my and, next And uh, go to say, the back so. of the plane, exercise a little bit, you know, right. to keep the circulation going. Right. You chit-chat with folk you don't know. Right. You know so you, <laughs> you make, make a whole the best new, out of new yeah. friends, right? <laughs> exactly. So how is Australia? I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's so nice. It's beautiful. It really is. I didn't get a chance to go to. I was in um, Brisbane. I didn't go to... Um, uh, Sydney, okay. yeah, you know, but I, I plan to go back one day. Okay. Really? How are really folks nice. received over there? Oh, they love us. Really? You know, and they love good soul music, you okay. know, you know, so very receptive. Yeah. A whole nother world. They love us as a black folk, but mm -hmm. how do they feel about the Americans? Nobody likes the Americans. Well, most recently, we haven't been liked very much. Right. But uh, with the foreign policy of the, the Bush administration right. and things like that, but um. I think that's starting to peak a little bit. Get, oh, absolutely you know, now. Break through, you know. Because the brother's making things happen. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It Obama. took a brother to, you know, jump from hood to hood. It's really the right time, too. I mean, I'm just like, like on a spiritual sense. Right. I think, like, you know, the earth is purging. Right. You know, and things are changing. And I don't think my mother would think that she would ever see a black president. I didn't think so either. You I'm know, pretty young. I didn't recently. think so either. Exactly. So, I mean, it's like... It's, it's, it's a good time. Yeah, good time absolutely. We got to yeah. thank that man for that. Yes. You know, thank we you. thank you. And thank, thank his mama and his grandma and everybody because they made that happen. <laughs> you know? So Australia, wow. That, I mean, Australia, Africa. I've been to Africa as well. Right. But it, I wasn't working the first time I went. Okay. But that's my most memorable, actually. Really? Through work, I would say Australia. Japan is nice, too. Okay. Never been to Hawaii. Want to go there? I would. I would love to go Hawaii. Yeah. And as soon as the sponsor wants to say fly the whole cast of the Miss Gabby show out, we'll gladly go out to Hawaii and do a live show with one of their top sure celebrities. <laughs> we speak stuff to God around here. Yeah, Naya's getting ready. She's just Hula missing girl. the grass skirt. She's just missing the grass skirt. That's what we do around here. We speak stuff into existence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna speak some record sales into existence too, because you have a um, new Thank album you. coming out soon, and we're gonna touch on yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna touch on that. We don't wanna jump into it just yet. We're gonna let them hang a little bit okay. and go back into your first album in two. You okay. listen too. Now, nice. if I could do it on, 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 <laughs> on tone, proper singing tone, I'd be all right. I can't hang with yeah, you there. So otherness for you. Otherness. Oth otherness. Where did that come from? I thought it was very, you know, cute and catchy. Spelt, yeah. Just um, some oh, the, otherness. The phrase. Um, you know, I, I come up with a whole lot of little quirky kind of sayings, you know, right. off the top of my head. Right. And that was something I always said. And I thought that it being my first CD my first time coming out people recognizing me from the background you know coming out with my first CD I thought that's what I'm giving you I'm giving you some otherness because what you saw before was me in the background now right. I'm in the foreground and I'm doing my own thing so each little song that I did or tidbits that I added to the song was right. different different right. from what you were hearing right so right. I thought it was some otherness for you that was great and I spelt I it, it ebonically too yeah 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 I loved it. I loved it. I was listening to a couple of tunes off of there, and um, like I told you, with two that stood out. Mm -hmm. And we're plugging these two really, really hard today. New brides that are getting ready to walk down the aisle. 
in a couple of months, couple of weeks, hell, it ain't too late. If you're walking down next week, it is not too late to talk to your DJ and tell him to get it together. I love Lufa. I love all the traditional, you know, play this for my first dance. I want to hear this coming down the aisle and dun, 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 and all that. Great, beautiful. Your new reception show. You're going to say you heard this on the Miss Gabby show because I'm starting a new wave with this. The new wedding song. I think it's a nice um, father-daughter dance. Thanks. At the reception. Thank you. It's called, what is the name of the song again? I oh, oh the wedding song? Oh, um, um, the, rest it. It. the Rest of My Life. The Rest of My Life, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Hold on. We got a call coming in. Hold on. I was like, huh? huh? Hi, you're reaching the Miss Gabby Show. Oh. Hello? How you doing? Hey, who's calling in and where are you calling from? Calling from Brooklyn. Who's that beautiful lady you got sitting next to you? That's Miss Karen Bernard. Miss Bernard. Miss Karen Bernard is a beautiful lady. Thank you. <laughs> You're making me blush. <laughs> Miss Gabby, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Who's this calling in from Brooklyn? Who's this calling in from Brooklyn? I'm calling from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, who am I? Yes. Who do you know? Mr. Barino! You know what? Me and you have a conversation after the show because I haven't heard from you. No, I called this to, to say to Miss Cameron that she's beautiful and she got me loving club music right now. Thank you. Thank you very much for the love and support. And the, the picture that they're showing right now is a beautiful, beautiful photo of you. It's really beautiful. Oh, beautiful black woman, no? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want to call and say keep doing what you're doing. And Gabby, you know I'm a supporter to your show, baby. You know I love y'all up there, Mustafa, everybody what in up, the Ricky? building. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Miss Cameron. Keep doing what you're doing, and God bless you, all right, sweetie. Thank you. God bless you too. Right, Gabby, I holler at you, baby. Thank you, darling. Thanks for calling in. Hey, hey, you know Bye. what? Bye. Right, don't go anywhere. Mustafa's looking for you. What up, Ricky? What's good? How you doing, bro? <laughs> we lost him. Anyway, we lost him. But hey, you know Karen. I, 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 and, and Ms. Gabby, I'll tell you, I'm going to let you know now, I, I managed to come across some, uh, you know, some footage of, of Ms. Bernard doing okay. her thing. Wow, because, you know, oh, yeah, we were yeah, looking yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been looking and looking oh. and looking. Yeah, we go deep on her real quick. We go deep. We found that background when she, we found her when she's doing her thing up in there. I'm going to flip what, that real What do quick. we have? What do we have? The Shaka Wait, Khan, wait. her and Shaka Khan footage? What do we got? Because I think that was oh, only one I did see. Her. This Live is her stuff. Thing. Never mind Shaka. She's, uh, we love this, Shaka. this is the standalone feature. No, she's up here. You know nice. Saying? And I got this little live thing of her. Let me flip it up. All right, let's go to it. Away from me. Let's go to We're it. We're going to slow it down a little bit for you. And I'm videotaping, so enjoy yourself, get drunk, you know, act the fool. We're going to stand up a little later and party. Y'all going to sing with me, too. All right. With my naps, so I wrote a song about it. Like to hear? Here you go. When I was just a young girl, I remember how my world was so blind, straight, and confusing. What I saw on my TV, it didn't always represent me, so I would pretend. Cause I wasn't too proud of my hair back then I had to learn, I had to see That what I had could only be what God gave me Thanks for my beauty I had to read to realize We come in different shapes and sizes Many shades of different hue Kinky, curly, wavy too What I'm gonna do with you on a sunny day 
feeling kind of loose and free. Corkscrew, curly, wild, and woolly, deliberately crowning my face. Ginger reddish brown, Ginger are, reddish you? brown are, are you? Are gently you? complimenting, gently complimenting my, hues. my views If I never said this before My love for you grows more and more I love you, I love you, I love you, I really do Don't you know what I tell you? I really something special about you About you, baby Special voucher Videotaping, so enjoy yourself, get drunk, you know, act a fool. Yeah, I tell you, that was a nice footage, wasn't that? That was beautiful. Well, Thank that, you. Well, I, I tell you, you, you did your thing. I see you sweating, getting it in. Oh, yeah, I sweat too. You. I sweat yeah. like a dude on stage. Oh, man, that's, that, that's fantastic. <laughs> that, that's the soul. <laughs> you know, me, I'm sitting up here like, yo, she's really getting it in. <laughs> you know that was I mean? at Joe's Pub in yeah. the village. I see. I, I see. You even had the background jump, the background singer jumping with you too. Yeah, that, that was Keith that Fluid. Yeah, Keith Fluid. He yeah. sings with everybody too. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. man! I tell you, man. I tell you, that was hot. That was Thank real you. hot. That was nice. That name of that song that was, was Here I night, Am. Too. Yes, hair like an H A I R. Okay, hair I am. Yes. Cause she had the natural going on. I love mm -hmm. it. You got beautiful Thanks. hair, by Thank the you. way. Thanks. By the way, and that was off of the. Life at 360 Degrees album. Yes. All the right. current. The current CD. That's the current CD. Mm -hmm. That is the current. And there's another song off of there. Truth is that I thought was, I like that Thank one. Thank you. I was playing Thanks. that in the truck. Getting oh, my okay. little swerve It's on. got a little funky kind of beat too. It does. You know, nice it really, groove. really, it does. Mm -hmm. It really does. You know, uh, let me tell you something. For the, uh, I guess if I had to compare with someone so that people can understand what it is. The people that haven't heard your music yet. If I had to compare to someone that I think most people like to try to get them to understand where you're going with this, mm -hmm. I relate you to Jill Scott. That's what it reminded me of, I that type of flow. And I girl. love Jill Scott. That's my baby. I, I love her stuff. Love me. So, and she's so beautiful. She is. She just exudes beauty. She's voluptuous. She's just like, oh, I just love her. She's she like just, regal. Yeah, and she sings her butt off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's my girl. I love me some Jill Scott. She's regal. You are regal. Sisters, thank you. Uh, sometimes our sisters so are regal. She, yeah, she got a you. crown up. And thank yeah, you. You, you remind me of that vibe. <laughs> so if y'all are trying to figure out without hearing her music yet, I'm telling you, go get it. If you are on that like Jill Scott type of vibe, 
then Miss Karen Bernard is for you. Hands hands down. Thank you. That's what it is. You're going out there and get it, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Might as well pick up both albums. <laughs> yeah, the first one is called, my debut is called Some Otherness for You. Right. And my current one is called Life at 360 Degrees. Right, and we got a third one that we're going to talk about in a little bit because that one's coming out hopefully soon. I saw 2010, although I didn't see a release date. Yeah, exactly. Yes. But in the meantime, you don't have to go without Miss Bernard. There are two albums for you to get acquainted and, and start grooving to. And like I said, the... Uh, the song the rest of my life new brides get it i'm telling you it's a nice little go song. oh man I, I couldn't believe it i said i've been to i don't know how many weddings since 2000 and i've never heard this song i wish i would have known sooner because i would have told one of my sisters one of my girlfriends even my male friends you know surprise it surprise yeah. your new wife play this for her for her for the daughter dance. Yeah, thank you. That's is it nice. going to be some more? Is that is there is there some more of that type of love on life at oh, three hundred sixty yeah. degrees? Definitely, yeah. I mean, each CD for me is the next phase right. of my life and career. So, uh, I write the stuff that I write is about life and all that's going on in it. Right. You know, so I would say some otherness for you was what was going on then. Right. Life at three hundred sixty degrees. It was a six year span between right. the two. Right. And now like three four year span i'm going to come be coming out we'll, which we'll talk about later but right. planting, seeds. planting seeds so i would say each cd is it's like a book and different chapters right. so eventually i'm gonna incorporate everything all my titles and do something with that eventually like, you know, put all the titles of my cds right. incorporate some kind of i don't know montage of something i don't know it's telling a story it's on the yeah side. exactly exactly there's, there, but there is like there is I didn't hear anything that had anger in it. It just felt good. It felt yeah, good. You know what? that had any anger. It was just, you know, not like the perfect world kind of love. Right. But that, and not just black love, but just love. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? I don't, I don't really, feel. I don't, I mean, I go through a lot of hardships in life like anybody else. Right. But um, I do write from the heart what I'm feeling. But my aunt, my aunt's like 72. Okay. And she, um, she told me she wants to hear one of those, you know, just deep down feeling all kind of pain from the gutter roll of you know right. and I'm like I don't feel that right. when I write right. now if I felt it of course I would express it I mean the deepest thing that happened to me in life is like my mom passing she's in one of, one of all my songs something about her you know what I'm saying so I don't really write from that and then I think we have enough male bashing songs I think right. we have enough you did me wrong, absolutely. love songs, you right. know. So I try to, you know, enlighten, uplift, right. and you know, uh, and just show my experience with my glass being half full, right. basically. Uh, I'm thinking not perfect because, though, you know. Yeah, I'm not. I can't say I'm sick of the male bashing because I need that in life. Yeah, yeah I mean, sometimes too. Those are done and dead, but you know. Me and mine, like we in love, right? We are in and love. And you want to show that? Why not express yeah. and show that? Yeah, I want to be able to and write that. a song about it where you can be just la la la, you know. Yeah. I I want to hear some birds chirping exactly. and some, Hello. some bunnies hopping across some lawn, <laughs> you know, the white picket fence song, every, exactly, really, exactly. really, and you're exactly. going to get that with this, you know, Thanks. get your angry song somewhere else, we about love, yeah, love and feeling good, L-O-V-E love, uh, like L-O-V-E love, <laughs> absolutely, so we're going to see more of that, um, and looking around for you, I is motioning for us to stop showing legs, <laughs> and um and, and looking around for your stuff I didn't see any videos yeah I've never done a video for any of my things that's true and I, I actually wanted to but you know I wasn't able to do it so I tried to go about it in other ways but I will be doing a video videos for this, this um, album. for my next CD yeah yeah planting seeds planting seeds mm -hmm. coming out is there a release date for that yet Huh? Is there a release date or? No, it's just it's coming out this year. Okay. Soon, I'm I'm in the studio. I was in the studio yesterday. Nice. I was in the studio last week, and so I'm I'm like five songs I'm in. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. But well, that's okay, girl. That's okay. <laughs> and me time, like we I fall said. down, but we get up. I'm back. <laughs> exactly. Life at 360 <laughs> degrees, and some other this for you. We'll hold you down for sure. How? Yeah. How does an artist yourself, such as yourself? I mean, you obviously got the voice and the raw talent to sell without a video because you're doing well, you know. I'm, so I'm blessed. I'm, I'm not doing as well as I w will be. Right. But it's a hustle. 
Right. It's a major hustle. Well, well meaning, you know, you're not starving. You may not have no, all your money, I, that's but that's why I say you, I'm blessed. You're blessed. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that takes some type of raw, hard, soulful, gifted type of talent. You know, are you getting that acclamation, those accolades everywhere or those accolades everywhere? Is it just here or um, is it more so abroad? Um, it's a mixture. Closer. They want us closer. <laughs> We're moving closer to each other. Sister girls are closer. <laughs> I'm good? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm moving over here. <laughs> um, all right, what? No, what was yeah. the last part? Okay. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, no, I was just saying, you know, we were talking, right? It's all right. That's what goes on around here. This is live. It's live, damn This it. happens live. around here. This is a live show. You get to look in and be right. part of the production. Spontaneity. It yeah. happens. Mm. That's right. Talk it happens. We have a good time around here. So you were saying? No, so I was saying was, you know, with the blessings that you've received right. and being able to work, and carry on even with the six years delay mm-hmm. of putting out your first or second album you still worked mm-hmm. you know you still kept your name gar- growing do you get the same reception in in the states as you do in other countries because like house music is big in some of the other countries mm-hmm. we kind of took a slow dive here for a little bit yeah it, 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 it keeps flipping back and forth you know it's underground it's overground it's underground you know but it never dies because house music is just hot but right. um I mean, I have recognition. Yes, I'm, I'm on the net all over the world. And um, both CDs, my first CD actually sold more than my current CD. That kind of put me out there, put me out on the map as a solo artist. Right. Um, like you said, I don't starve, right. but it's a hustle. Right. So, But I also learn about the business side of it, okay. you know, which is the great thing about it. And there's no middleman, you know, you can print show us that you could cut that out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, so through singing with different people, like I was singing lead uh, with Incognito, right? And I'm known across the seas because of that. And then they came on board and checked out my CD too. So it's kind of all interlaid, right. you know what I mean? But right. yeah, yeah. So um, this this CD coming up, I plan to do a, a wider distribution, you know. Okay. So what I'm finding is that when people check out one of my CDs and they're like, "Oh, let me check that out. Oh, I didn't know she sang that." And then they're like, well, then wow, what else has she done? It's and, you know, enticing. and then, you know, it's like a little trickle down effect, you know. It's nice. Your music is it's enticing. Great. It makes you want to listen. Thank you. It's one of those things, definitely, her music, your music, it's definitely one of those things that leads you, leads you into the green and passion. It's like, let me, you know, tip through these tulips. Nice. Thank you. People, you know, like you said, with the reception, with the reception, with the recession, like I had a drink, <laughs> with the recession, people have, <laughs> have come across some hard times, so... Your music is so warming, and to have something make you feel good for half a minute, most people need that in their life. Helps me. Yeah, and that's you know, I love music for its um, it's like it's the universal language. Right. It really soothes you. You know what I'm saying, and kind of puts you in a. It, you can relate to music in different aspects of your life. Right. Happy, sad, you know, just anything that's really happening. There's always a song for it. Right. And I love that. I mean, with or without words, you know. Right music from different countries because I listen to all types of music okay. you know and it's like I love it I love the fact that God blessed me with one of my purposes on earth which is being a a, a messenger through song right beautiful mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. nice so how does it feel when you go to other countries that are not traditionally English speaking oh and I love hear it and see yes, hear your songs I and they're speaking it. almost I like perfect it. English when they're mimicking your songs mm-hmm. right I love and it then that's then the they, best high outside of that they have no idea what you're talking about that's the best high when you see other people a mass of people like right. mouthing the words to, or singing your song you right. know they're performing with them that's a great feeling nice yeah. and then outside of that there's no conversation because outside of those songs they have no clues what you're talking to talking about sometimes well right? yeah you'd be surprised though i mean they may not speak the full english english language but okay. they learn english through the songs that they listen to okay so they can gather up a couple of sentences to ask you some questions like magic your picture or, you know <laughs> something like that or you know i love you i love that you know i'm, I'm mainly right now doing right. japan because in japan they may not speak the english language right but they know every word to every song and i mean they enunciate and uh, pronounce everything, but when you get off stage, it's like, hey, you you, you did great or whatever. I, 
Japanese? Was that yeah. real? Yeah. Okay, let's do that I'll, again. I only know a, a few words. Well, you know, I don't know any words Japanese. Maybe konsumida. No, that's was that Korean? Y'all took a little bit of arts, but it's outside a little of that, Korean, but I don't, I don't know. See, I don't even know what I'm speaking. Yeah, I, I try to learn a few words in each country so I can at least say stuff on on stage right. when I'm singing, or, and I'll say something and shout something out to the audience, you know. In their say language, something. they like that, that was, you know. That was so pretty. Every it's Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Domo. Right. Domo <laughs> arigato gozaimasu. Hi. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, thank you very much, I think. That was a long thank you very yeah. much. Thank that you very much. That was nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So she picks up a little bit of Oh, okay. 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 For the kids, the teens that might be watching, these are some of the things you get from traveling. Yes, yeah, beautiful. I love It's the best education traveling. The best. I, I tell all my friends with kids, let that be their second education. You know, traveling around the world and, you know, just learning how the next man lives and the food and the language and the music and the culture and the everyday, you know, it's, it's great. I'm really blessed for that. Again, thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That, that's, that's, that's beautiful. So Planting Seas, third album. Yeah. There's a little bit of delay between 2006, the second album. Yeah. And then this one that you are feverishly working on that we know is going to be great. We know I really that love it. And it's also my producer debut because I'm producing this one. Nice. Well, I know your um, bio said you do production, songwriting. Um, I saw that you did some consulting and vocalist for Paul Simon. Simon. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe you already had some production in your belt. Well, no. Um, Paul Simon, I sang, he, he uh, produced a play. Right, Kate and Man. I was like the yeah Kate Man, and I was like the vocal doo-wop consultant, okay. which means I gathered the singers together. We went over stuff. I taught them how to sing certain songs, and basically using your diaphragm, kind of constructing stuff, okay. you know, and and consulted on the the way to sing it, the tone, and you know, the pronunciation, all that good stuff. Okay. But I didn't produce anything with him. Okay. Um, my production. My is it productorial? Is that a word? Yeah, sounds good. We're my using it productorial. It's not let's my productorial it. Nobody's going to look it up anyway. So it's coming soon. It. <laughs> it sounds really it. good though. Productorial. If you're not sure, if you're not sure about a word around here, we just say it anyway. Spell check. Yeah, exactly. Productorial <laughs> debut. Yeah. coming 2010. Yeah, we we just use words around here because we can. <laughs> it sounds really good. It's kind of like you using otherness. It's your word. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we just, somebody's we, gonna call it. It's not a word, okay? And we're gonna say, hey, I'm, I'm gonna hang up the phone. Listen, they, they add new words to the dictionary. See, all the time. every day, every day. Uh, see, the that's right. Exactly. That's right. The lexicon. Wow. wow. Right? Do you know I used to get plucked in the lips for using eight? I know. Anywho, ain't not. <laughs> ain't is not. ain't not. Yeah. Okay. I ain't That's the contraction. Yeah. I am not or something. Crazy Ebonics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. really? Oh, they put that in there too? Yeah, Cool. Yeah. Hey! Nice. I like that. I like nice. That. You know what yeah. that means now? Now that they're in this words to the dictionary, brothers can get jobs. Because <laughs> now they're not going to go and sound crazy and mm -hmm. illiterate and ignorant because it's a real world. Well, we now. were going to use it regardless. You know, we spice it with our words. We'll flip stuff we up and, you know, that comes from Africa. It works for yeah. us. And guess yeah. what? Them, meaning they, mm -hmm. them will hear it and run with it. So oh, all, we can all do what time. we want. But, you know, we set the foundation, y'all. Come on. Exactly. Hello. Foundation of boundaries. That's what we do. So anyway, some otherness for you, life at 360 degrees, and now planting seeds. Yes. What types of seeds are we planting? What are we Oh, what are we major. Planting the you reap what you sow. True. You reap what True. you That's sell. what this album is going to be about? Yeah. Well, I, I messages said. messages to anyone in here? Cause this is what oh, no, no, no. No no one in particular. I mean, not one in particular, but you know, maybe some Oh, messages, definitely. Definitely. Said, I hope this person hears this. Or definitely. These, these oh, every song, every song is... Someone can relate to It's about something that happened with someone Or someone that knows someone right. It's just life experiences And, and my, through my lens right. You know, and um, Planting seeds is basically, okay, you had some other this for you Then life at 360 degrees Those were seeds that I'm planting right. You know, those were two planted seeds I'm, I nurtured them I watched them grow Now I'm planting the big seed right. 
which is this CD here. I don't know what my next CD might be called, but with everything that I do within my career in between the hustle, is a seed I'm planting. And um, I'm starting to see the fruits of my labor, you know? So, it's beautiful. We saw, did they, just flashed a picture. Was that the, um, the cover of the Planting Seeds album we just saw? I put on my peripheral. Can we shoot that again? I love this picture. You take gorgeous pictures. Thank you. Gorgeous pictures. Absolutely. She's such a lady. She was telling me how she's not a DJ. I'm not. You know what? 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 Right, in the industry, that they kind of diva usually means bitch. Right. So when I say that, I'm just saying I'm not a bitch. I'm not hard to work with. I'm not like diva. Like I don't eat that. Take that. You know, I'm not like that. You know, I'm humble, and because I'm, I really count my blessings. I, I you know? severely, I severely think that's what I meant. It is. Well, diva actually means, you know, it it is a uh, um, an accolade. It is like a, a compliment. It is. Uh, you know, to be a diva, right. like it came from the the opera divas. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Hello. It came from the uh, sorry. It came from the opera divas. You know, those that sang opera. You know, their posture is very erect, and I mean that's where it came from. You know, and it kind of went left. You know, with the definition, and I just don't. I mean, I'm. I, if you think I'm a diva, that then that's what thank happened. you. It's a blessing and hey, all listen, that. But some things you don't ask for. Now I can I can tell you about some divas. No, you we know. don't want to hear about them because no, we, we we're trying to change. I mean, we I do want to hear about those. God knows the world. We like a little dish no dirty laundry. Here. No, no, no. All right, no. not on air at least. Uh, <laughs> sharing's caring. Stop trying here. to get the tea. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, so we're gonna um, use you not in the bad sense of the word use. We're gonna, so we're gonna use you to start melding that word diva back to a positive connotation. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Kind of skew these little girls into some Oh, I love to teach the babies. Some, Gotta teach the babies. Gotta teach the yeah, babies. Yeah, well, some of these babies, I'm not saying they're beyond teaching, but they need another role model aside from the... Right, right, right. You know, exactly. they exactly. need to see that. You know what? Exactly. I can go out there and sing some real riffs, you know, and be cute and regal mm-hmm. and be wanted. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, starting at 13, mm-hmm. they oh. need to see something different. Younger than that. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, right. Nowadays, younger than that. So, I mean, you're a blessing and more made than one because so, these young girls, they need it. Some of these 20 some year olds need it too. So, <laughs> yeah, serious. Thank Oof. you. Oof. So, you're definitely going to post a woman.